Hello guys, welcome to this class. In this lecture, we are going to talk about Ethereum. At the end of this lecture, you will have a better understanding of what is Ethereum and why was it invented. You will also be able to talk about what is the difference between Ethereum and Bitcoin. You will also have a better understanding of what are Ethereum networks and what are different kinds of them. So let's get started guys. So we all know that Bitcoin is a digital currency and it is an application of blockchain wherein you can transfer funds across two people. But Bitcoin is only limited to being a currency. After Bitcoin was invented, it started gaining popularity. And in 2013, there was a person called Vitalik Buterin who wanted to apply the concept of decentralization from just a currency to other applications in the world. He wanted to empower the developers around the world to be able to build decentralization on various other applications on blockchain apart from Bitcoin. He proposed that Bitcoin needed a scripting language for developers to be able to build different kinds of apps not just limited to a currency. This scripting language will enable developers to store data in various forms which was missing in Bitcoin. He proposed this but he failed to get the agreement with the Bitcoin community and hence he introduced Ethereum. So Ethereum is an open source software which enables developers to build decentralized applications. These applications run on Ethereum blockchain. Since Ethereum runs on blockchain, it inherits all the properties of blockchain, like it's distributed, it's immutable, it's verifiable, and it's secure. Like in Bitcoin, miners work for a piece of Bitcoin, which helps them facilitate transaction. Similarly, in Ethereum, miners works for Ether, which is the currency that powers the Ethereum network. To talk a little bit about Ethereum, in 2014, the first white paper of Ethereum was published. In July 2015, they had an Ethereum crowd sale for 42 days. Now let's talk about what is Ethereum network. So this is a network of blockchain that we discussed and we spoke about wherein every node is connected to each other. So let's go through some of the points of this Ethereum network. So Ethereum network is nothing but nodes that are connected to each other. So here you can see that every node is connected to each other and node is any computer that is connected to a network. Now any computer can become a node in the network. In reality, there are multiple Ethereum networks. Now, what does that mean? So there is one main network, okay, which is the main Ethereum network wherein all the real transactions happen. But there are few test networks, like to name a few, one is Robston and one is RinkB. So these two are the names of Ethereum test networks, which are used by developers to deploy and test their Ethereum applications. So that's about Ethereum networks, okay? Also, every node has a copy of entire blockchain, okay? And every transaction that is executed in a Ethereum network is executed on every node. So you can think of Ethereum network as a really huge supercomputer that executes all the transactions. Also, Ethereum networks have no downtime. So these are some of the points of Ethereum networks, okay? Just to summarize like what we discussed in this lecture and what we learned, we spoke about what is Ethereum, we understood like why it was invented. We also understood the difference between Ethereum and Bitcoin. We also have a better understanding now of what are Ethereum networks. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. See you guys in the next class. Thank you.